people, this is yours truly, Kofi Danku, and welcome to Motivational Monday. Today I have an extraordinary man with me uh, to share some inspirations or motivations with us um, for the week, as we always do. Uh, he's author Rafi Entry. He is extraordinary, like I mentioned, because um, I want to believe that he's the only man under 40 years of age that has, has written 50 books. Five zero to me, it's a big deal, and the bigger deal is his impact and knowledge. So, we'll have a brief conversation. I have a few questions for him here and there, and then you know how we do it we would uh, inspire or motivate you for the week. Welcome, Mother. Thank you. I'm very, I'm very happy you made it. Thank you very much, um, first of all, for mm -hmm. bringing me here. I, I think that it's a multiplicity of factors. Right. Um, first and foremost, uh, the discipline is of utmost importance. Right. Um, to be an effective writer, one has got to be very disciplined. Right. I am fortunate to be a choleric melancholy. And okay. the melancholic part of me gets me to be very analytical, very thoughtful and mm. um, so I'm able to stay indoors for many hours to wow. write. Um, I do write about eight hours a day Oof. and um, so um, another thing is I have been an avid reader for many years now. You talked about reading and I before we got, we, we got on the set I said I believe a lot of people don't read and you think it's a matter of perception. Uh, it should break your heart that I'm saying this because yeah. <laughs> you write, you expect people to read, you should know all these things. So what, what can you say about this? Um, well, first and foremost, I would um, like to um, say that uh, having written 50 books in the last 12 years, wow. um, some of which have sold thousands of copies, uh, largely here in Ghana, right. the so-called um, less reading, if you like, country, yes. I have gotten to the point where I, I'm beginning to beg to differ right. with that um, school of thought that um, Ghanaians don't read. I think we've moved away from that phenomenon of if you want to hide something from a black man put it yeah, in the book <laughs> you know blacks are now reading yes. in fact i don't remember um, doing any book that has not like fully sold out right. you know so i believe that the biggest room in the world is a room for improvement right. and uh, yes there's more room for improvement as far as readership in this country mm -hmm. is um, concerned but um I also identify with the idea of people seeing posters and not reading the details. Reading, yeah. I think the issue has to do with concentration. Concentration right. is a big problem in our, not just in Ghana, but in our world today. Many people out there are not concentrating on a lot of things. Right. So I think we should learn to concentrate. You mentioned that you sold thousands of copies, etc. And you wrote your first book at the age of 27 and you're still writing. Does that make you financially successful? Um... I mean, I'm asking this because there are some people who would want to write, yeah. but then they complain that people are not buying. There's no, they have a lot. There's so many stories to tell. There are so many things they want to write about, but they are not. They are not encouraged. That's why I'm asking this question. Well, I'm, I'm going to answer your question without answering it. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> um, I believe that writing is a very lucrative um, endeavor of life, oh. and uh, any good writer would say that it's very financially rewarding. Right. If you go to America, for instance. Uh, Names like Anthony Robbins, names like Zig Ziglar and all of that, mm -hmm. you know, most of them have risen to um, great financial prominence right. because of writing. Um, Rick Warren, for instance, who wrote Purpose Driven Life, mm -hmm. had to go back to pay his church, you know, to give back, you know, no, after selling millions of copies of the oh. book, he had to go back to pay of all the salaries he had taken for years. You wow. Know? So I believe that if, if you are indeed a called or an assigned writer, writer. and um, timing is of, also of the essence if you tend to write at the right time you attract the right people and also there's this quote in the peep it says wearing a frown or a serious look yeah. is not synonymous with spirituality i'm curious what does that really mean um, you know there's this um, practice out there particularly among the charismatic um, right. believer um, where people, you see people in a prayer meeting, they have these squeezed faces, mm -hmm. you know, and that seeks to kind of portray spirituality. And people think that looking stern, looking um, serious, serious all the time mm. uh, means that you are very spiritual and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Uh, I've learned to take life very easy. Life in itself is short, so I, I think that's that, how it should be. Yes, and, and in the presence of God, we have liberty. We don't go into God's presence tensed and then acting all formal. And, and stuff like that. I, 
I, I would talk to my father smiling. Oh, I wouldn't right. talk to my father wearing a frown. frown. Right. I believe that frowns actually drown you in any case. So, oh, it's true. Um, they say that we, we use that. more muscles of, the, of our faces frowning. So you even tend to look older than your age if, if you have the habit of frowning. And I tell people all the time, it doesn't take a mile to smile. So always oh, like to okay. smile. It doesn't yeah. take a mile to smile. Wow, that's a beautiful one. I want to believe that from our conversation, a lot of people must have now been inspired. But it would just be nice to say some few, some few words or some final uh, words or some final motivation uh, to our viewers. Yeah, I'd like to say about three things. Um, first and foremost, um, someone said in that word impossible, the I am is actually I am. Possible. So nothing is impossible in this life. And even the good book, the Bible says, with God, all things are possible. So the day you, be, you see anything impossible, check your address. As long as you're with God, nothing is impossible. And finally, I want to say that wherever you aspire in this life, if you are ready to perspire, you will acquire it. And in the end, you will inspire others. Oh, yeah. I think that's beautiful. It doesn't take a mile to smile. I remember my very first motivation was about smiling. So let's keep smiling. Anyway, thank you so much for coming. Thank you uh, too. And before we close, I have these books for you. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is On Your Max. On Your Max. Yeah. Set. Uh, on your, on max. your Max. The other side set. is another book, Get Set. Get Set. Just turn it this way. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah oh, Get Set. Yeah. And then and Go. This is, this is Go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so. On your max, get set, and go. I am so ready to go. But then after you go, you can peep. Yes. I can't wait to read and uh, review these books. I'm so excited about them. Thank you so much, uh, author Rafi Entry. Thank you. Maybe sometime I'm, when I'm done, I will review them yes. with you. Sure. Thank you so much for coming, Arthur. And God bless you. Bless you too. <laughs> Okay, peeps, uh, I will catch you on Trend Wednesday. Ta-ta. Yeah.